Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kirsten and this is gonna be, I think, my first YouTube video. Um, I literally just moved back from College of Charleston and so I have all of my stuff, as you can see. And I think what we're gonna do today is take it all upstairs, go through it. Um, I know my family and I are having a huge yard sale in a few weeks maybe because i'm really excited and i'm gonna take you along with um this journey but um this is gonna be my new bedroom it's currently our office space it's a hot mess just excuse it but i'm really excited because this room is beautiful it has a um bathroom attached and it has a really nice walk-in closet that is all my dad's stuff. So, we're gonna go through all this. Also, my dog, Lucky. He's such a sweetie pie. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take y'all along with me. I'll probably do a little speed through, but I love doing stuff like this. I'm super into, like, cleanliness. Not technically, like, minimalism, but, like, going through your stuff, like, every other week and making sure... What you're not using, you get rid of, you know, like sell it, take it to Goodwill. So I'm really excited and let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm back. Um, I'm about to do my makeup real quick and I figured that we could talk a little bit about myself and um, like why I'm creating a YouTube channel and whatnot. So um, I'm going to start with primer. Love that. Um, so I am 20 years old. I went to College of Charleston the past two years and absolutely loved it. I was in a sorority. Um, I got elected on exec like everything was going really well um but i just had this feeling that i needed to be close to my family again and also i have a long time um, or long-term relationship here um he went to college of charleston with me my freshman year so two years ago um and then i kind of told him we kind of agreed that it wasn't really for 
him. He's not a fan of school, which is fine. I mean, everyone can have their differing opinions on it, but basically he came back home, Florence, to um, do tech school. So, that out of the way. Um, so obviously, like, I have these feelings, and as the relationship has gone on, like, we've both, like, said yes, um, we want to continue our relationship, basically, and maybe take it to the next step in terms of, like, thinking about marriage and whatnot. So it's kind of scary because we're so young, but, um, anyways, he is amazing, um, I think that he wasn't my like a part of my decision to come home there is a really good university here and i'm actually thinking about doing nursing my mom's a nurse and i know i've always wanted to go into the health field um so yeah and i know like i can do anything i really want to go to med school that's why i went to college of charleston was because MUSC was there and i thought like i would get good connections and everything would work out well that. I mean, MUSC just bought one of the private hospitals here, so it might be something that I could do. I could still work for them, and they might even have some of their um, education departments come to Florence. That would be amazing. But anyway, so this past semester, yeah, this past semester was not like the best in terms of mental health for me, and it runs in my family. And so I know, like, I have. Yeah. <laughs> so I basically told my parents, I was like, I'm not doing well. Like I need to see somebody. I need to do something about it. And so I went to a therapist and it was really nice. Um, she was amazing. Um, but honestly, and I know this is how therapy is. It's like you bring up all the things that you don't want to talk about. <laughs> um, and so it kind of like made me feel worse in a way, like for the first few times at least. And, um, I kind of quit going, but also I'm pretty sure I have seasonal affective disorder because as soon as the sun like started coming out and of course like Charleston is right by the beach and I literally like last week I went to the beach like three times. So it was amazing and it just made me feel so good just getting that vitamin D and whatnot. And so I feel like that part is kind of over, but it was just like so bad. I... I would cry every day and I would be very like paranoid for some reason about everything and just like my anxiety was through the roof. I, I have a lot of physical symptoms with my anxiety. I um I get like heart palpitations and all that jazz. It's not fun. It hurts. But I do think I'm gonna try and find somebody here in Florence that I can talk to. Um hopefully. We'll see. But yeah, so I'm coming home, I'm living with my parents. I'm excited about it, I think. Um, I am a little nervous just because like going to College of Charleston and having my own um, experiences basically, like on my own and living by myself. And now I'm gonna come back and have to like, yeah. It's gonna be fun though, I think. there. Like I said earlier, I get to move downstairs soon. I'm really excited. Um, because up here we share a bathroom and it's just a tiny bathroom. It's not very fun. So yeah. So that's great. Um, I have to do a few prereqs before I'm able to like apply for the nursing program. So it's going to be one semester, hopefully only just one. Um, and then I can apply. So I'm just going to be a semester behind, but in my opinion, like it's worth it because Nursing is a field when, like, where you can just go to school, get your degree, take the NCLEX. If you pass, amazing, you have a freaking job because of the demand. So, um, I'm really excited about that, and I love, like, working with people. I'm a very empathetic person, and so I love, like, helping people, and I feel like being a nurse, like, yes, it's incredibly hard, and I understand, like, I talk with my mom all the time about it because she has, like, first-hand experiences, but, um... Other than that, like, I'm super excited for it. I'm taking <laughs> two summer classes. They're both biologies because I need them. It's anatomy and physiology. So I'm taking one May. It's like May-mester. It's three weeks, Monday through Friday, like, 9 to 5. So there's that. I mean, 
it's not gonna be bad, I don't think. I, I like keeping busy. Like, like I said earlier, like my anxiety gets so bad sometimes, especially when I don't have anything to do. Um, so, I'm excited about that. I'm also coaching Summer Swim League. Again, I did it last, um, last summer. It was fun. Um, it gets me, like, the whole reason that I'm doing it is, like, I love the kids out there. Like, obviously, sometimes kids can be kids, you know, like, you know what I mean. But, um, it's a really good experience because, like, as a person, like, I don't really want kids. And as a person who, like, thinks like that, I think, like, having the experience with kids literally from ages, like, five to 16 I think um it's good and it kind of like makes me think a little bit more about having kids in the future you know and so I'm really excited and um it'll keep me busy like I said I love being busy so yeah also I'm not sure if you want to know but my makeup that I'm using I'll tell you, so I used Smashbox Photo Finish Primer with this little guy, Base Tape, I don't know, I got it in my um, Ipsy Glam Bag, and then I used this Flower Beauty um, foundation, it's called Light Illusion, I'm in the shade, let's see, Ew. Nude L3, it's so pretty, but I do feel like it wears kind of quickly, but it's fine. I just got this ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 18 um, because I recently started watching Raw Beauty Christy and I literally love her. She's so freaking funny and she's obsessed with that. And so I had to try it for myself. It's only $7 or $8. And so I was like, why not? Um, and then next I'm going in with my Butter Bronzer. This thing smells so good. Ugh, it smells like tropical like beaches. I'm all about that bronzy glow. I'm ready to be going to the beach and like out in the sun coaching. I'm really excited. This lighting is so good. Sorry about the mess. Like I said earlier again, um, I'm like moving stuff around. I literally just got home from college I'm actually going back to Charleston tonight to hang out with my friend, <laughs> so um, that's fun, but I'm trying to just get everything together and, you know, just have a good time. <laughs> um, also, that painting right there, I did when I was like 15, so that's funny. I like, I want to get rid of it so bad, but then again, I'm like, I took like hours to do that, even though it doesn't look like it, I promise I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, so talking about like why I wanted to start a YouTube channel, um, so in high school, this is not like the main reason, I just like, I, I love like watching YouTube and I'm like what better way to get more involved with YouTube than to like make videos for it, and so that's one of my reasons, and then my other reason is, in, oh, Murphy Blush set, it's amazing, um, it's in Trio de Blush. Anyways, so in high school, I was super active. I literally, I cheered from 7th through 9th grade. I swam, like, from when I was 6 years old to 18. And so I did high school swim as well. Um, and then my 10th grade year, I decided that I wanted to try out for soccer because I love, like, I just love the whole vibe of it. I love um, the girls that I played soccer with. It's just like a really fun sport and it's so like, you're so active. And I know like by my, my, my senior year, I was captain, it was amazing. And I had literally like, soccer was the best experience of my high school, like whatever. Um, and I was playing literally like full games. We do two 40 minute halves, two 45 minute halves. And um, I was, defensive mid and so I kind of worked with defense and offense I was kind of like an in-between person so like they would pass the ball to me I'd pass it to the forward stuff like that um but that being said I was super active obviously like being so active I didn't really have time to like do nothing in a sense um and so I think that's why I struggle with like 
my anxiety when I don't have anything to do because I haven't like experienced that until going to college. That was weird for me. And um, I don't know, like I'm ready to hold myself accountable and like get back into it. I love like, I love being active, but for some reason at the College of Charleston, I just, I didn't feel comfortable going to the gym and obviously like downtown Charleston, I did not want to like run around by myself and it's fine. Like it's just me as an anxious person. I was not trying to get like kidnapped or anything. Um, and so I keep, I like make excuses for myself. And so I feel like having this channel may hold myself accountable. And so like bringing you guys or whoever, whoever wants to watch this video, I don't care. Subscribe if you want. If you don't, it's fine. <laughs> um, whoever like wants to follow me with my journey of like self love and body positivity, but being healthy at the same time. So like I'm going to the gym five days a week. I'm going to be running. I want, one of my goals is like to be able to run two to three miles, like without stopping, um, on a treadmill, of course, South Carolina is way too hot to be running in the summer. But um, I'm just, I'm really excited to like get back into it and also like my boyfriend and I will hold each other accountable as well. And so I'm excited about that as well. Um, I just, I'm, I love, I don't know. So I would kind of consider this channel like a little bit of everything. Like obviously we started off with some cleaning. Um, a lot of that will be on here because I love cleaning. Even if my room is, well, my room's a mess now because you know, but, um, even if, I don't know, just like, yeah. I also want to start, um, eating more, like, vegetarian options i tried don't hate me but this not this time last year but like beginning of 2018 i tried to just like drop everything and go vegan and if you've tried it before like you know how hard that is um i have a lot of stomach issues as well that goes along with my anxiety i have like anyways tmi um but trying to go vegan really like messed up everything <laughs> in terms of like my digestion and um all of that jazz and so it t I mean it does take a good like week or two for your body to get used to it but by that time I was already like giving in and I think I told myself I would do like five days vegan two days not because even just a little bit is better than like eating meat every single day and um dairy I am dairy free because I'm lactose intolerant sometimes I do splurge and I get stomach aches like the other day I had ice cream but um I don't know, I'm just, eating meat and like dairy and stuff doesn't really align with what I believe in, and so I'm kind of tired of, I don't know, this weird like, oh, I don't think that <laughs> the meat industry and the dairy industry is good, but I still eat the meat, and I'm like, I'm tired of this. I just want, if anything, just eliminate me i'll have cheese every now and again because i think um the levels of lactose in cheese isn't as high as it is in milk and so um it's easier on my digestion but yeah um i was just using what kind of brow pencil is that maybelline brow precise in i don't even know medium brown i feel like i need to go a little bit darker but my hair's shiny and then i'm going in with this color pop um bra <laughs> brow boss job it looks kind of weird but you know what if it works it works you know so I kind of went on a little color pop spree the other day because the um the Ulta in Mount Pleasant near Charleston has like a color pop area and it's just so cheap like you can't go wrong with brows look good and now I'm going to highlight. This is amazing. It's Ofra Highlighter in Star Island. I got it in one of my Ipsy bags and it's one of the best products I've gotten from Ipsy. And then I also got a ColourPop. Um, these are called Super Shock Cheek Pearlized <laughs> in Lunch Money. And this is such a weird consistency. It's like squishy. Like it's not straight up powder. But I'm going to use this and then I'm going to use the Ofra on top because it's it's much more vibrant and I love it so 
I always do um, the smaller parts of my face first, so I'll do my inner corner and then like my eyelid. I love like glow and then the brow bone. And then the other. I love doing my cupid's bow. Cute. And then my nose. And then I go in with a bigger, more dense brush. I love to just like pack it on. Oh, I do the thing that Rihanna said in her little Vogue video. She does the three and it's like you start there and then you do this. I think it's so pretty. Also, I love Rihanna. And I just watched Homecoming. Oh my freaking god. I cried. I cried like five times in that, uh, watching that. And I just like, there's, I feel like mad at myself because I always thought Beyonce was overrated and now like looking at what I, I feel like sometimes when we think about celebrities like we don't think of them as people and I know like a lot of people say that but like if you watch Homecoming she talks about like everything she went through with her pregnancy and like she's just human being like she works her butt off and I feel like I don't know I need to appreciate especially like women of color um because they're not just, we, I mean, I took a women and gender studies class and we talked about like the different intersectionalities, um, meaning like race versus gender. Um, and so being like women of color, I feel like is not the same as being a white woman. Like white women have so much privilege and I wish, God, getting into politics, I love this. <laughs> also, I am a feminist, so sorry if you don't like it, but guess what? It's my belief. And if you don't like it, you don't have to listen to me. It's fine. Um, but anyways, so yeah. Um, ooh, she's pretty. But anyways, just supporting all women is such a big, like, it's very important to me. Um, I feel like any little accomplishment in the world today, especially like in the United States, is, it's very important. And I feel like we need to we need to kind of like reel back and like take a look around um like me not giving time of day to Beyonce but she's literally busting her butt and she was the first woman of color to headline freaking Coachella like what the heck that's so amazing and so now I'm kind of glad that I've had this like my eyes open and it makes me more aware of like what different women and different women of color are doing in society today and I love just like praising them and I'm like you go girl um because they need that I feel like there's so many like haters out there that's such a weird word but it's true like I don't know people are just some people are so mean and I think it comes from I think a lot of it comes from um like dehumanizing people like thinking of celebrities as something bigger than just being a person you know like I don't know sorry about that rant that was weird um I'm gonna set with Milani Make It Last. This smells so good, by the way. <coughs> Amazing mist as well. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about me. Because I know this is going to be my first video. And um, I don't know exactly like what I'm going to... Do, like to continue but I'm gonna see how like this first video goes and hopefully it goes well I don't know we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens but I'm going in with my telescopic mascara and like black is black um I've literally been using this for so long don't look at my dirty hair I'm sorry <laughs> I literally think I've been using this Mascara, not the same one obviously, but like the name. Um, since I was like a freshman or an eighth grader. It's crazy, but it works so good. So well, I guess I should do. Um. 
And then I got these two Flower Beauty um, like lip pencils. I love um, I love using lip liner as like your um, lipstick because you know it just like I feel like it lasts longer. It doesn't fade as easily, and I love like the definition it gives. So what I'll do is okay. So this is in toffee, and this is in beige. And so what I do is I go with a darker one, so toffee around my lips, and then I'll put beige like in the middle, and I'll just use my finger and um, like pat it out a little bit. I think it looks so pretty. I'll show you my finger. look how beautiful that color is but in my opinion it's just a little too dark especially with like a natural look like this and so i'll go with the lighter one, one, one two, and let's kind of go over it Oh yeah. See how my lips should, my lips just look a little more plump, but they really aren't. It's me. But anyways, yeah. So this is my like everyday natural like glowy. This light is just amazing. Um, it looks way better on camera than it does <laughs> in person. But you know what? I'm I'm going for it. So um, yeah. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed my first ever YouTube video. I cannot believe I'm starting this. I'm so excited. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna go eat lunch in a few and hopefully um, talk to you guys soon.